So when we do respirations, that is counting the number of times the patient breathes in and out. So in, out is one cycle. What I always tell people to do is breathe. You can either count the number of times the chest rises or the number of the times the chest falls. So in order to do that, you want to watch the patient and see if you can find a place on them that moves, especially somebody who's not breathing very deep. It's hard to find that spot. So one thing you can do is you can actually lay your hand on their chest and that will not only give you something to see, but you might even be able to feel it. Now, to, for respirations, the pulse checks we do for 15 seconds. For respirations, you really need to do 30 seconds because the respirations are similar to a bradycardia. Rest, a normal respiratory rate is fairly slow, so you're going to get a more accurate rate if you check for a minimum of 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll get our second hand ready. Start. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and 30 seconds is up. Double that, eight times two, 16. Her respiratory rate is 16 times a minute.